What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Dokkan video. In this video we're going to go ahead and use the new, or new-ish I guess, SSB Goku Awakening alongside his buddy in Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. No? Okay. Never mind. Uh, I should actually play the music. It probably would have been better. <laughs> no, in all seriousness though, hope you guys enjoy of course. Subscribe if you're new of course. For more content, that being said, here is how the Goku works. So anyways, we don't care about leader skill or anything like that. Yeah, yada yada. But anyways, passive skill. The only thing that really matters. All right. So when he's facing one enemy, he gets 90% attack and defense. When there's two enemies or more, he gets an additional 50% attack up. So it's it was pretty weird dealing with this guy's translation. A lot of us were confused. Um, a lot of just people, you know, myself included, on that secondary passive because the way it's translated, you know, was translated anyway. Kind of made it seem like he flip-flopped between the two. But there were people that stay tried and true in that it stacks. So, yes, 140 and 90 when there's two enemies or more. So, anyways, let's go ahead and jump into it. Vegeta-sama! Int orbs for you. And then red orbs there. And, uh, yeah, those those for you. Because we don't we don't necessarily care about Yui's. But we're good. Anyways, this Vegeta's really good. But it's unfortunate he's going to get overshadowed by a lot of people anyway because the new one. And they... It's so annoying that they do this, but they make so many versions of the same unit or character that you can't use them on the same team together anymore. I love how the Super Saiyan Blue Bros went ahead and just critical hit against SS4 to begin the match, by the way. They just were like, yo, uh, we ain't dealing with your nonsense today. <laughs> All right, so critical hits to begin the battle. We're going to go ahead and put Topo in the last slot. Unfortunately, SSB cannot be here right now. Maybe if, if I'm lucky, I won't mess around and take out somebody because I really want to see him against two opponents. If you haven't noticed, that's not going to be a very common theme, uh, being able to do that. It's just mainly going to happen like earlier on in events, first round of events, etc., etc. Otherwise, it, it might not even happen at all in some events, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's kind of a thing that's there. It's cool. It's just not something to depend on, which this isn't going to do a whole lot of damage. Sorry, SS4, but yeah, 60k, I mean, that's cool. It would have been a lot better if I had got the chance to do some supers with them, but I was purposely avoiding super because I wanted to see if I could postpone, but I forgot UI Goku was going to just defeat them anyway, so. Oh, maybe not. Yes. Thank you, Topo, for not doing a dang thing. <laughs> all right, so we have UI Goku in the last slot. So I believe actually here, this Goku has all of his links active whenever I put the, the Goku in the last slots because that way he uh, actually is able to get the Kamehameha link. So I believe he has every one of his links active. If not, it's really freaking close. As far as attack lanes go, I don't I don't care about anything else. But if not, it's really close. So hopefully we get a crit. Look at these two's attack stats, though. They're really high. Like, these guys are really powerful. <laughs> this isn't even a Vegeta showcase, but it, it kind of devolved into one. But it's fine. That being said, he only hit for 600k, so whatever. All right, Gokusa! Yes, another crit! <laughs> All right, and then UI is going to finish off SS4 because, yeah, that's what they do. That's what, that's what we do. We bought that life. There we go. I love how literally SS, uh, UI hit weaker than the uh, SS Blues altogether. Okay, cool. Yeah. Makes sense, Dokkan. Makes sense. Uh, okay, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and put UI in the first slot, and I'm going to keep him on rotation with the LR because the LR really was just kind of a last-second inclusion on the team. They're not really here to do anything. They're just kind of like, oh, yeah, well, I just take a tank in that last slot, and that's why they're here. Otherwise, I mean, they technically could link up with Goku, but they're not my focus in any way, shape, or form. So Gogeta is actually going to take it upon himself, but UI dodged it with a built-in dodge. That's what I want to see. <laughs> that was the passive or the potential system dodge. That's fire. Okay. All right. Man, I really hate that they uh, split his abilities. Like, I... I I know they needed to save it for the for the awakening, but like him being able to dodge as an SSR and then taking that away from him until he transforms is like no. I mean, it's kind of the same thing because he mainly dodged below 50%, but you know, maybe I'm just nitpicky, but still. I really wish he could dodge innately like that. Like the mastered one actually can. He just kind of dodges everything just cuz the mastered one. Uh and I get why they did it, but like I don't know. I just I would prefer if he was just a little bit better. You know, he's pretty good. No, uh, not he's not like crazy good, but he's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So Vegeta will probably finish this off. I'm pretty sure he's going to. And it's funny cuz this isn't even a Vegeta showcase, but it kind of has turned into one because he's here. 
So Vegeta finished it off, and I'll actually show you the Vegeta and his potential system. Just because he's getting so much exposure. Uh, okay, cool. Actually, you know what? I'll keep the double. No, no I'm going to float a UI. I'll float mine, though, because it's not as good. Uh, so the double, or the uh, SSB Vegeta right here. So 68%. Ha, just one short of the magic percentage. Anyways, uh, he's very defensive. If, you know, he de uh, decreases the enemy's attack and defense by 20%. Uh, he has these abilities here, a lot of this. You know, I just try to make him a very good defensive unit, just for Super Battle Road mainly. And he's very good. Three-turn attack increase, stuff like that. So he's awesome. Love him. Uh, UI will probably get really close to finishing this event by himself. I say this on the heels of me saying that he's not crazy good, but he's really good. <laughs> I guess crazy good to me would be like LR Vegito and Gogeta. But there aren't very many units on that tier other than them at all. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, just over a million attack. Ah, uh, UI. That's fine, though. We still get the shots with Vegeta and Goku next round because apparently, like I said, this is the Vegeta Showcase 2, even though it wasn't planned that way. <laughs> uh, and I didn't want these guys to get too powerful, so no Ultra Supers here. They might even additional or something. Okay, no additional either. That's cool. I don't mind it. Uh, normal attack from UI. Coolio. Cool beans, bro. Cool beans. Okay. So this time around, we have the Wii support, which I believe we had earlier on in one of our first couple of scenarios. So keep in mind as well, Goku's only getting the 90% attack increase. And on this rotation, he's at 76,000 defense. So he's a very good tank. You know, the 90% defensive improvement makes him very, very good. It's really interesting the way that they handled him. If you didn't know, he awakens on the UI Goku event, him and the Super Saiyan God Gokus. It's really, really interesting how they handled him because they all awaken at the same time. UI Goku, SSG, SSB Goku right here. Uh, and the reason I say it's interesting is because, you know, he wasn't, I didn't think he was comparable, like that comparable to, uh, you know, STR SSG Goku, for example. But I honestly think he's better than him now. Like, he, he's just, he's really good. And uh, they made this unit really good post awakening, and it's the best thing about it is they messed around and gave them all fierce battle. Like I didn't know why they screwed Int Super Saiyan God Goku by giving him rebirth instead, but you know the best thing about it is they gave basically all of them fierce battle. <laughs> Even the the tech or the the physical one that's you know really easy to get. I want to say borderline free to play, but not necessarily. But you know because he's super easy to get. But um. Even him, like, he even got Fierce Battle. <laughs> he had it from the Beerus event, so I don't know, man. But nonetheless, they really, really made that SSB Goku really powerful. Because even though he can't get the extra 50% all the time, just having 90% at the start of the turn is really good. Attack and defense, because there are units that just have attack or whatever, but attack and defense is really good. All right, they're, of course, going to finish this off. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate it. So we're going to go through the Omega event, and that'll be about it. Just because I really want to see uh, Omega's, you know, type disadvantage in action. Oh, man. I really hope I brought the Essence item, or at least Senzu Beans, to break out of him breaking rotations. Because I've been forgetting lately. At least when I run this. And, of course, I forgot. Oh, Omega, you're so annoying. Your event is so annoying. Because <laughs> I am never prepared. <laughs> I always forget. So we'll just have to fight through it. It's fine. We're good. And we're also really close to a Dokkan attack. It sucks I can't get it on this phase. I think I'm going to have to postpone next round and try to uh, not do anything crazy there. Vegeta, stop. I want the Goku to get a shot. Thank you. And actually, there's not a single phase in this whole event where Goku would get his secondary passive. Look at Goku. He had to show up, Vegeta. Just had to show him up. Had to show him up. Thanks, Whis, for the key support. Great. You're going to ruin this. Most likely, anyway. Is there a way to avoid this? Oh, yeah. I can do it. I can totally do it. Boom. Boom. And, uh, uh, uh. There. There we go. Cool. We're good. Hopefully, though, they take him out. Like, I really want them to take him out, so that way I don't have to rely on a critical hit. Look at this guy with his built-in dodge. What freaking what dodge did this guy give his uh, UI Goku? Did he give him like all dodges or something? Are we really getting lucky with the level five dodge? Like seriously, what did he give him? Let me double check that really quick. Uh, the friend. 
Oh, all he has is level five dodge. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, you know, if you're if you're judging him on the video, kind of like I was, keep in mind that you know mine has dupes, the friend doesn't, but he still, of course, has a lot of room for, for uh, improvement. He's only sixty percent. So of course, like any other unit, he'd be a lot better. And I wasn't trying to be too critical of him earlier. It just felt like you know he could be better. And and they saved a lot of what he was meant to be for the transformation, which is why I said I understand why they did what they did. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put you in the first slot, baby! And those. And reds. So we're gonna try to make sure we get all these. Knowing me, I'll probably miss one. Somebody said they had a dream I didn't mess up. Shout out to you, bro. I remember that comment the other day. Oh, I got them all, though. I guess your dream came true. Dreams do come true. You know, I had a dream that Goku crit on this and hit for over uh, 2 million. That's what I had a dream on. Goku, please. Please, come on. Let's do it. D do it for you, boy. One time for the one time. Come on. Crit. There we go. Low-key, Goku's like crit on every single hit so far. <laughs> he's actually, I think he's really crit on almost every single attack he's had so far. That level 20 crit doing me nice today. Literally doing me nice today. Pause AF. All right. So, we will go ahead and put UI in the last slot because at the very least I can still, if, if he's not, if, uh, yeah, okay, I was going to say if he's not locking the first couple of slots, that is. I was going to say at the very least I can kind of set this up better and then I can get attacks off with these units before they even get hit by him. And I really want this rotation to finish him off. It's just these guys are so slow. I need them to do offense sometimes, like right now. And it's my fault too because I'm not featuring them as much, but like they're so slow. Even the UI Goku's pretty slow too, to be honest. They need to build up their attack. All these units need to build their attack. But I freaking love that super attack animation. It's so beautiful. Look at this one. Without any links at all. Let's see what he does. Let's see if he out damages the other one. Hopefully he'll crit for me though. Come on, crit! Ah, uh, he literally almost did exactly the same amount of damage as the other one. Without any links. If I'm remembering right, but still, that was that's that's different. Okay, cool, I'll take it. Well, he's locking SSB there, but that's that's fine with me. I really like don't mind that. So thanks, Omega. If you're gonna do locks like that, I, I really don't care. So thanks, man. What would have made me mad is you locking SSB Goku in the last slot or Vegeta, to be honest, because I want them both here. Also, look at the defense. The defense. That a lot of that comes from the defensive improvement that. Uh, Whis is offering the Vegeta. Also, on top of that, the Vegeta's attack debuff. That is super significant. And we are even getting the additional attack, so he's going to go ahead and feed into his three-turn attack raise. And he almost finishes him off. But Goku, I swear if Goku freaking crits again, it's going to pop me, man. I swear. Goku. Okay, cool. No crit. <laughs> I don't know if I could take that. So, all right. So, we're up against the final phase of Omega, meaning that this is the final phase of the video. Make sure you guys do leave a like if you haven't already done so. I really want to get that going. I want to show you guys that. Uh, I want to show that. Uh, yes, yeah, I lost train of thought, to be honest. Screw it. I, I, don't, I don't care what I want to show anymore. I, I, I forgot. I, 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 I lost the train of thought. I looked at all those attacks in the first slot, and it really threw me off. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't you love how human I am? Ah, <laughs> uh, man. No, no, please. Omega, no. Who's your daddy? No, 166. Relax. Holy crap. Chill, bro. <laughs> Why are you picking on my Goku like that? 35? Yo, Loki, Omega could beat me this round. <laughs> he actually could. I don't think he will, but he actually really could. Oh, especially if that was another super. I wouldn't even doubt it. Oh, their defense is high enough now. And Topo had type advantage anyway. So UI Goku will even transform. I didn't expect for him to transform at all. Also, this guy doesn't even heal you, does he? Oh, why do they take that off? And also, he's locking Vegeta in the middle. You freaking douche. Because now I can't get the Kamehameha link. You douche. Hmm. Doesn't matter what I do. I don't have an item to remove status ailment, so whatever. Guess SSB is going in the first slot, and we'll see his defense and stuff. Because now, uh, well, Omega can apparently be debuffed. I was going to say, because now nobody can be debuffed anymore, but Vegeta still can debuff him. So that's pretty cool. 
because he's one of those ones that can only not be stunned or whatever. Kind of like when they first started playing with that idea. So just under 1 million attack. 570,000, no crit, but type advantage. So, wow, Vegeta's attack is freaking way higher. His attack is way higher. And he does way less because type disadvantage is a thing. I should have let UI Goku attack first. I should have let this Goku attack first because he would have removed the guard break. Uh, and then Vegeta would have done normal damage. That's actually really annoying. Ah, uh, it's whatever. But it was annoying. Look at this Dodge Master. Freaking Dodge Master there. All right, you guys can go in the front slot because you're really close to being maxed out anyway. And those hits that you would take right there would probably enable them to finish off the event, especially if they additional or crit. Those hits in the front probably mean they win because they'd, they'd be at max attack and everything. Oh, even a super. Great, thanks. Just take all their defense from them. Totally. Oh, it looks like they still have enough in the tank. Probably because his leader skill is so insane and they're so good in the potential system. Three million attack stat. Will you finish it though? There we go. Cool, thanks. Anyways, that was the showcase for STR SSB Goku at 100%, 100%. In the potential system let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you enjoyed this unit make sure you guys leave a like on the video as well subscribe if you are new and uh, all that other good stuff like I said there are video recommendations on the left and right hand side of the screen if you want to subscribe there's also a subscribe button you can just go ahead and click it it'll get the job done for you either way make sure you actually probably check out that uh, Ginyu Force video that video was so much fun that team is so underrated it's crazy and it's all free to play so anyways have an awesome day and I'll catch you on the next one